Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I've got a pretty awesome video for you guys. I'm going to be showing you how to use your HTC One M8 as a TV remote. This is going to help you eliminate the clutter of having a whole bunch of different remotes to connect with your TV, your cable box, and even your surround sound system. Now you can do everything with the HTC One M8. Let's get started. All right, so for this process, pretty much what you need is your HTC One M8. You're also gonna need your remote. So have the remote for your cable box ready or your remote for your TV, depending on how you wanna connect this because there are a few different ways. So the first thing we wanna do is open up the TV application. You should find it in the application section of the phone. So we'll tap on that and it'll guide you through the process. So first off, we have to set up the HTC TV. This is gonna give you some information. We'll hit next. From here, we want to select our country, so wherever you're from, go ahead and select that. I'm from Canada, so I'm going to hit next on that one. And then we're going to enter in our postal code and hit next. Then from here, you want to select the TV service provider that you're using, and they have a whole bunch of different ones here depending on the country you chose. So mine is Bell TV uh, Fibe, so I'll hit that and hit next. And then from here, you have different channels that are available to you. You can select more if you want just by selecting or deselecting them. We'll just hit next. I'm going to leave it on the default. Now, if you have other video services that you subscribe to, like Crackle and things like that, you can use those as well, selecting those. I'm not going to do that. We'll hit next. Now, you can choose some of your favorite TV shows. I'm just going to select a few. So we'll hit Big Bang Theory, Family Guy. Uh, I like The Office. And we'll pick one more. South Park is good too. So we'll hit finish on that. And now it's going to show up with some recommended TV shows. You can see TV shows on now and you can move it aside and sort of see what's on. You've got movies, what's on now here. So there's only two movies on right now. But to set it up to activate as an actual remote, you need to hit this tab right here. It's like a little remote. And this will bring up the setup HTC remote settings. So we'll hit start. And what you want to do from this stage here is choose whether you want to control just the TV, if you want to control the TV and the cable box, or if you want to control the TV cable box and your home theater. So if you have a surround sound with a, three different remotes or something like that, and you want to do it all through the HTC One, you can do that. So for me, I just have a cable box and a TV, so I'm going to select those two and hit next. And from here, you choose the TV brand. Mine's a Samsung. We'll hit next. And now it's telling me to make sure my TV is off. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the TV off because it was actually on right now. Once your TV is off, you go ahead and hit next. Now we'll go ahead and tap on turn on TV. And I actually heard it click. I'm going to roll this down so you can see it does turn on. And there you go. So it has turned on. It is going to be blurry because I don't want any copyright infringements to arise. Now, once your TV is on, we'll move back to the HTC one here. We'll go ahead and hit yes. If it doesn't turn on, hit no and follow the on-screen instructions. Now, from here, it's asking us to point the HTC one towards the TV and then tap the input toggle. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. We'll tap input. Actually, it took two presses there, but it did change the input. So now it's asking us if the input toggle button worked. And I said yes. Now from here, you want to select the cable box brand. So for me, again, it's the Bell 5 TV. So I'll hit next. And now your setup is complete. You can start using your HTC One as a TV remote. So now that I'm on this section here, which is not my actual TV setting, I'm gonna actually take my HTC One here, slide it to the right to bring up these settings here. So what I can access here is the inputs, the off, on, uh, turning the TV off and on, and things like that. So I need to change the inputs. So I'm gonna sort of do that in a way I can try to show you both. So I'm tapping input, you can see the TV screen is changing as well as the remote here I'm using um, on the HTC One. So now I'm on my cable box. So I'm actually in the menu with the guide and things like that. So I'm gonna swipe back to the right on the HTC One. And basically I can go in and out of the menu just by tapping menu there. So in the menu, I'm gonna access the guide and I'm gonna tap okay. So now that's brought up my guide 
And basically from this middle section here where it says channel volume, you can access all the basic features of a remote. So your menu, as I just showed you, you have your mute, your volume, your channels. You can access your DVR buttons, play, record, fast forward, pause, things like that, depending on what you're doing and if you wanna record something. But for me, let's just go ahead and choose a channel. So what I'm gonna do is swipe again to the left. And from here you get a regular keypad which you can enter in any channel. So I'm just gonna go one, four, Four, four. And on screen, you can see my guide, it did change. So now it's showing some sort of sports event. So I'm gonna go ahead and swipe back here and tap okay. And there you go, it brought up the specific TV show. So I'm just gonna lower that down because I don't wanna, again, get any copyright issues. If you wanna turn the TV off, you could just tap down here, it'll turn the cable box off. You can turn the TV off above. So we'll go ahead and turn that off and you can see that it's now shut down the cable box. And then we'll go ahead and turn the TV off and it's turned the TV off as well. So that's pretty much how you use this, but there are a few features and settings that you can access if you tap up top here. You've got button setup, you've got settings that you can play around with, hidden shows, location, you can connect with Twitter and Facebook. If you wanna add rooms, you can, you can tap up here. You can press the plus to add the room, enter the room name, things like that. Give it a more customizable feel. If you tap on the room you're using, you can do a few more things like that. If you go from the top in these settings now in the specific room, you can remove or rename that specific room as well. So if you don't wanna use this cable box anymore, you can actually take it away. Or if you've got a new TV, you can delete it and create a new one. It's just a really good feature. And I've been using this surprisingly a lot. It's really easy and it allows me to do much more than my remote could do. And I really like the features at the beginning here. So if we go to the recommended, I'm actually gonna turn the TV back on. So we'll go back to my remote here. I'll turn the TV back on. We'll turn the cable box back on and you can see it's back on. So I'm just gonna actually show you something with this. If we go to the recommended TV shows, you can see there's a few of them on right now. Let's say I wanted to watch Family Feud. All I have to do is click on it. I can tap on watch now right here and there you go, it's actually changed to the Family Feud TV show. So it's just really cool that you can sort of get an interactive second screen to work as your remote, rather than just having the tactical buttons on a standard remote. Anyway guys, I hope you found this video helpful and enjoyable. If you did, remember to let me know in the comment box down below and hit that like button as it helps me out a lot. And also lets me know that you guys like what I'm showing you. Also, if you guys enjoy content like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button and it'll let you know when I post a new video. I try to post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and I've got a lot of great content coming up in the near future, so I hope to see you there. Thanks again for watching. I will see you guys in the next one.